Hello, this is a short introduction to Neo Ipsum, a new utility for PowerPoint that we hope you'll find both useful and fun to use. Now, to start, you'll need to go to the Neo Ipsum download page, and that is at justinbrett.com, Neo Ipsum download. Now, the page will look somewhat different than this. This is an early version, but there will be a download link on that page. So, clicking it, you'll get a couple of prompts. The first is where you want to save it, and saving it at the desktop is a perfectly fine place to do it. Now you may get some warnings. This is the, one of the first ones you might see. The uh, download has been, been displayed in the download bar, and it says Neo Epson is not commonly downloaded and could be dangerous. There may be other ones depending on your browser and your security settings. We hope that you'll trust us in providing that you downloaded it from justinbrett.com that it is a safe download to use. So clicking on this and keep saying keep, it will go ahead and download that. Now you can launch the, down, the uh, zip file for, for uncompressing by clicking on this bar or just going to the icon that was downloaded and clicking that. So now we have the extractor that's set for this machine. Yours may look different. If you've never used a zip extractor, it'll probably come up with some prompts as to which one to use. So I'm going to click Extract to the desktop, and it's very quick, and that's done. I'll drag the, the newly extracted MSI file over, and this is, what, this is the installer, and this is what you want to download. So, is that what you want to install? Clicking Next on the first screen, it will just confirm that that's a fine place to install it, and then install. At this point you'll get, depending upon your settings, uh, install confirmation that may look different depending upon your operating system. And finish. And now we'll put that away and launch PowerPoint. I'm going to just choose a blank presentation for trying this out. And here we have the insert ribbon with a new command at the end called fill, fill placeholders. Now Neo Ipsum isn't something you're going to use to actually create presentations. You're going to use it to test the design of your presentations, especially before you put text into your placeholders. So you can see what it's going to look like before you actually start the work of putting in real content. That's typically what Lorem Ipsum text is, and Neo Ipsum is a new Ipsum that lets you choose from a number of different types of Ipsums. So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more slides in here to make it look a little more interesting. And we'll start by clicking on the fill placeholders, fill placeholders command. There is the choice of using the current slide, a specific slide by number, or all slides. You also can choose from the ipsums available, the number of paragraphs per placeholder, and the number of lines per paragraph. So let's just use the defaults here, and you can see Standard Florum Ipsum text gets plugged into this, this uh, title placeholder. Using undo at any given time, you can remove anything that was put in with a single Neo Ipsum fill placeholders command with one click of edit, because it was all done as one command. I'll show you that in a second. So let's go have a little more fun with this. I'm going to say all slides, and we'll choose the comics ipsum and we'll leave these as the defaults. So I'll confirm that and we get a comic book style title placeholder and filled in standard placeholders with bulleted text. Again clicking undo gets rid of it all. Now I'd like to assure you that if you have text in your presentation already in any given placeholder, it will not be replaced. We check to make sure that the placeholder is empty before we put in the Neo Ipsum text. And uh, similarly, undoing the Neo Ipsum insert will only undo the text that Neo Ipsum put into your presentation. So given that, there's just one more thing to cover, and that would be how do I uninstall. You use the standard 
Program and Features Control Panel, find Neo Ipsum in the list, and choose Uninstall. Confirm, and it's gone. So I hope that helps you understand how to use and how to install and uninstall Neo Ipsum. Thank you very much.